with another episode of Lock Talk. This question comes from Shakitha. Hi, my name's Shakitha. I follow you on your YouTube channel. I have a question if you don't mind answering. I'm two years and almost three months in my lock journey. I realized one day that my roots are puffy and I've never seen this before. I got my hair twisted about a week ago. Could that just be a new growth? Could that just be new growth coming in or can it be something my stylist is using? Thank you. It can be various things. When it comes to learning your hair and learning your locks, you need to be really aware of different changes that you are making, different things that you're adding and different things that you're taking away from your routine because things like this could happen. Did you start using a different gel? Or your stylist, did she start using a different gel? Are you still tying your hair at night when you go to sleep? Are you covering your hair when you go take a shower? Um, since you said that you retwisted your locks about a week ago, I really doubt that that's new growth. She sent me pictures. It was too much to be new growth from a week. It looked like unraveling that was probably caused from excess moisture or just poor maintenance, like, like not tying your hair up to sleep or to get in the shower, things like that. Yeah, pay attention to everything that you do to your locks until you develop some sort of system of what works for you so that you will avoid things like this. Okay, the next question comes from Valier. Hello, would it be okay to dry locks with a blow dryer on a cool setting after every wash? Is damage going to occur in the long run? If you must use artificial heat, I would definitely suggest that you use cool heat as opposed to you know the hottest setting on your blow dryer so yeah if you if that's what you want to do definitely do that you'll reduce damage that way personally well as the weather is starting to get cooler you see I'm wearing sweater sweater weather but um while it was summertime I did not use artificial heat, heat at all being that I color treat my hair I am gonna be more susceptible to dryness I want to do everything in my power to reduce that so I, that's why I didn't use artificial heat, but now that it's getting colder, I'm not really going to be able to just go outside in the sun and dry my hair. Yeah, I, I will definitely probably, most likely, be using some artificial heat to dry my locks with the fall and winter coming. To reduce the amount of artificial heat, you want to use a microfiber towel, get all that water out of your hair. Wash your hair in the morning so you have a full day to dry your hair. Leave your hair out, don't cover it, leave it out and open so that it can dry fully and thoroughly. And um, four, don't go to bed with it tied up while your hair is wet. It's not going to dry and you're probably just gonna generate some mildew and that's gross, you don't want that. Yeah, yeah definitely use a cool setting. I would definitely suggest that you do that since you wanna use a blow dryer. 